<laughs> Mike's Daily Podcast. Ep- ep- episode 1624, 1625 rather, 1625. If you were waiting for me to post it on the website last night, I guess I didn't get to it till after 8 o'clock. Usually I have it up around 8 a.m., 9 a.m. But I didn't hit the publish button. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Mike's Daily Podcast. That was my little Beyonce impression. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. She does that in a song. Hey, and an exciting thing. Mike's Daily Podcast. We now have 462 subscribers to the email that you can get from Mike's Daily Podcast. And it's awesome because that may not be the last. I hope there's a lot more that sign up. But hey, I'm really happy to the 462. That was awesome. And I kind of knew her because she's uh, my LLP, my lovely Mike's Daily Podcast lady pal person. Wait, that would be an LLPP. Yeah, you know me. Mike's. So that's what we do. Daily. This is how we do it. Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast is. Yeah! The Friday show. I will not be doing a super secret Sunday show. No, no, no. Because Sunday I'm off from work and I'm not going to podcast. And that's it. But tomorrow's going to be one of the busiest days of my week, even though it's a Saturday. My part-time job is... Oh, my gosh! What the heck? Look who just walked in. Greta Bronner on C-SPAN, the only woman who appears on Washington Journal. is, And she always wears like a very sort of plain Jane dress kind of thing. Today, she's wearing a T-shirt. And I'm trying to make out the design. We always have C-SPAN on here at Cafe anyway. Look who else walked in. It looks like... I want to say it's like a rock shirt of some kind. Like a one that promotes a rock band. But it's got like a heart thing on it. Oh, this is odd. This is controversial. This... I knew that was coming, so I had to get ready for it. Controversial. And we have a podcast picture, and I'm not going to post a picture of Greta Bronner but you can just sort of maybe surmise from what I was saying what it looks like I don't know cafe I don't know Ooh, I got this nice picture of and here's today's podcast picture beautiful you know we've got these thistles and if you're an Irish person you know the phrase the thistle and shamrock show where they have Oh, Delilah was on the moor And she was singing to me forevermore And then there's somebody named Last name was Moore And that's how we make a song in Ireland With every word that I, it ends with the word war More Evermore So that's not what we're doing a podcast picture of today The, the thistle I could do the thistle but I think we should go back in time What do you say? What? Because I want to Do it <laughs> You're so You're so just Hot and cold You're hot and you're cold You're yes and you're no You're up and you're down You're back together as friends Because you used to be Taylor Swift and Katy Perry And now you're friends again And anyway, cafe anyway Anyway Apparently they gave each other an actual olive branch What the hell does that even mean? What is the matter? What is the matter with you? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? Something must be wrong. Something must be wrong with you. You've got to be kidding You've me. You've got to be kidding me. Ladies, you must be blind. Is you blind? That's all I had to say about that. And right. right. <laughs> I will never be able to do Olympics, but I just did that. So you're welcome. The point is... That Katy Perry and Taylor Swift are now friends again. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Repetition in music is absolutely necessary, especially if your name is War. That's the name of that band that did that. War. Dun 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 dun. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. I saw War perform at this thing in Huntsville, Alabama called Big Spring Jam. 
Big Spring Jam does not take place in the spring. It takes place at a spring. In Huntsville, Alabama, there's a spring that pops up, burbles up. And back in the day, because Huntsville dates back to the colonial era, like the late 1700s, what would that be? 1600s? Well, you know, it was like, it got started, it got, I think 1800 is when they founded it. I don't know. You're asking too many questions. Leave me alone. The fact is that there was, uh, uh, because of the spring, they were able to transport goods to the town of Huntsville, though it is landlocked. They were able to transport goods from the Tennessee River up to Huntsville. And they've got a little colonial town that will tell you all about it. But it costs like 12 bucks to get in, and it's ridiculous because you don't get anything. I mean, that's just overpriced is what I'm saying. But I love Huntsville, and I'd love to go back and visit and see my friends there again. It's been a while. But I'm not going to start singing that horrible song by... What was it? Not Smash Mouth, but the guy that kind of looked like Smash Mouth. It's been a while since you've been singing that song. What were they called? It was Stained. Thank you. Oh, God, what a horrible song. This is the best part. All right, that's it. But it's not as good as this song. Let me into your window. Oh, whoa. Hey, Cliff. Oh, God, she was weird and wonderful. Kate Bush. She been changing hands for as much as $2,000. That's how much people are paying to say to see Kate Bush now. Two thousand dollars. Yay! Right. Right. Thank you. Here's what I wanted to tell you about: is that I woke. I was gonna sleep in till four o'clock. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the curtain and pull it back and show you my world. But then I'm going to shut the door on you. Because I'm, I'm shy and I'm coy. But hey, there's some people that walked in and we should say, we should really acknowledge them at this time. Go ahead. Um, yeah, it's Shelly Stewart, good shop supervisor. I've been waiting for you to talk to me, Mike Matthew. What do you want to talk about? Um, the gift shop has like a lot of things people can go in and buy. Uh-huh. You have a lot of inventory you need to clear out? That's right, my friend, my, 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 Matthew. Excellent. We'll take care of that. What's wrong? You're just a little odd today. You're a little off. Yes, I'm, I'm struggling with this thing in my throat that's been bugging me all week. And I wake up in the morning and my right ear hurts and my throat hurts and I can't, it's, Bugging the crap out of me. And then it goes away by like the middle of the day, but it still hurts to swallow. I hate it. I hope it goes away, Mike Matthew. Thank you. Take some echinacea. Oh, I like the sound of that word. How do you say it? Echinacea. Echinacea. Do you know who Kate Bush is? Not a clue. And end scene. Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer, Mike. It comes to my attention that some people don't realize that Floyd the Floor Man and I are a couple. It's true. We have, I guess we haven't talked about that in a while. It's sort of a thing. You two have a little thing going on. Oh, my, my, my. We've had a relationship for a long time. Yeah. It goes back a long ways. Still upsets me when he doesn't clean the shower. Well, you've got all the hair. You block, you clog up the stupid drain. And, and I can't design any kind of invention that will clean the drain on its own. Yeah, well, if you're smart enough, you could. I hope you guys work this out. Oh, we will. We will. And it'll be wonderful. Good. And that's what it is in a relationship. Working things out. And then... 
Everything's wonderful. Okay, work it. Work it out. Work it. And that's the characters here at Cafe Anyway. So I wake up. My dog wakes me up. The wonderful Basil Le Bastard. That's the French pronunciation. And he wakes me up. And I am looking at the clock. And I'm like, I have another 20 minutes. So I go downstairs. And I'm in the bathroom. And I'm like, I'm in, I'm in here. I, I might as well shower. I'm in here. I might as well. So I shower and let me tell you, it woke me up. I feel so good. This is probably one of the first podcasts you've heard in a long time where I showered before the podcast. So I don't stink. You are so welcome. I smell damn good today, ladies and gentlemen. But my throat still hurts. Ah. Hey, I wanted to share something with you real quick. And that is... I don't know if you know this or not, but there are some little bitty cool little things. And that's all the the, the most complex word I've ever used. Things. To tell you what makes up the beginning of this show. Only the beginning. Only the beginning. That was the Chicago song. The beginning. The entree. The intro to this show. Consists of a door opening And then you hear that song we sing Cafe anyway at Which I didn't sing today Because I didn't have I, I let the backup singer sing it Sometimes I sing along But today I didn't I, could, I, I couldn't find the right button to turn on <laughs> Crazy laugh time Everybody crazy laugh time <laughs> I still don't understand why Greta Bronner is wearing that. Anyway, cafe anyway. You have to understand, Washington Journal is shot from a studio right across from the Capitol. I think it might even be from the Library of Congress somewhere up there. And you see, and I love watching the show. No commercials. Love that because I hate commercials. Speaking of which, check out Mike'sDailyPodcast.com. And... If you want other links to listen to the show, I've got links to all kinds of places to listen to this podcast. And maybe uh, places you've never known carry cod pod cod pasts. Cod pasts. Cod paste. Ew. But cod is delicious fried, just so you, you know. And what is not delicious fried is... And I don't think I need to go into that. But yes, what happens is this show is not written out. Uh, pff, really? Yeah, really. I don't freaking write out this show. It's sort of what happens at the moment. And I hope really? you find that refreshing. Because I do this every day and I just don't have time as such to... Write it every day So that's why it's a little bit of a whiz bang Off the top of my head Crazy But that Who could have predicted Greta Bronner wearing that shirt On C-SPAN And there she is talking in front of the Capitol And during the week It's all males Doing the show And then she pops up usually on Friday And basically the Washington Journal is her Or whoever else is hosting the show Interviewing politicians Usually in that studio and for the, when, when it gets bad And I'm, I don't know if you've seen this a lot lately But this is very perturbing And that is They'll go Hey uh, we'll talk to so and so via Skype And it always looks terrible Because you have this beautifully produced Light is modulated In the studio Everything is nice and beautiful And then they go to someone's Freaking office or bedroom With their Skype connection It's awful just put them on and put a still picture of the person. Don't even go into the Skype thing, please. But unfortunately, this is going to be more and more what's happening on C-SPAN. And I'm sure you've caught it on your local news channel situation. This is Ted Grapple, ABC News. What is going on with Afghanistan with Prime Minister Avnan Diji Ijibad? Find out a little bit later on today on Ted Koppel, ABC News, Pakistan. He says those words a lot. 
Why is Greta Bronner wearing that weird red? It's like a heart being held up by skulls. That's the best way I can describe it. Cod. Oh, Cod. Hey, it's like a cuss word, but not. We're getting to the point. There is a point here, and that is the beginning of the show has the door open, and there's the song, and I was telling my lovely lady friend yesterday, or LLP, lovely lady pal, lovely lady person, that there is a, the, this, this what you hear. Oh, I'm on the radio. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Crap. Fruit is legal tax. Oh, that's not me. We missed it. Um, the, at the very beginning of the show, when you hear that door open, there's a little bit of a piano. That was actually somebody playing the piano in a re, uh, food court area in the Atlanta airport. This was many years ago, and there were the people talking in the background, and it sounded just like that. But I use it as kind of this way to get into the show where you're walking into cafe anyway, and there's a piano playing. And then the song starts, and you hear my Uncle Yup saying, um, here's another song, or I'll sing you another one. And then Uncle Yup's uh, granddaughter, who is also my cousin, she says Mike's Daily Podcast. And that's how every show starts. And then there's the song. Which originally, the Mike Staley podcast, which I perform, recorded, and sing on, it originally was called The Last Place on Earth. That was the name of the show before Mike Staley podcast. So, that The Last Place on Earth was how it sounded before I changed it to Mike Staley podcast. But Cafe Anyway is at The Last Place on Earth. And anyway, 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 that is that. And I hope you enjoyed that explanation. Now, we don't have much time left, so none of us do. So we must make the most of every second. Hey, guess who ch- who's banned child marriage? Delaware. Yes, Governor John Carney signed the measure into law. This was on Wednesday. Setting the minimum age for marriage at 18. The law went into effect immediately. Under past law, minors in the state could be married at any age with the approval of a judge. Wow. Now that we have closed this loophole in Delaware law, children will be protected from forced marriage and its dangerous consequences. I am so proud that Delaware is leading the way to protect children, and I hope that other states follow the suit. Uh, follow suit, and that is State Representative Kim Williams of Delaware, who sponsored the legislation. The move is part of a growing trend by state legislatures across the country to address child marriage with minors who are married often feeling forced into wedlock. An analysis by Frontline, the TV show, found that more than 2,007, 200,007, 207,000 people, I know where to, how to say these large numbers, under the age of 18 Yes, that many, over 200,000 people were under the age of 18 were married between 2000 and 2014. Damn. New York, Connecticut, Texas, and Florida have all passed laws over the past year raising the minimum age to marry. Fascinating. Huh. All right. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. I suppose there was another interesting story I could have gotten to. Uh, there was some White House aide, Kelly Sadler, uh, Cindy McCain, the wife of Senator John McCain, hit back at a White House aide. I guess this is Kelly Sadler, who mocked um, John McCain and his cancer. Jeez, uncool. And there was some strange murder suicide. In Western Australia Where seven are dead And there is now an eruption Of a a volcano In Indonesia They ordered people In Indonesia, people living near Mount Merapi To leave their homes Today after the peak sent a calm Of steam and ash Into the sky You know, once upon a time There were volcanoes erupting all over this place, and you and I were created from that. Yes, that is what created us. Is Mike a fan of the creation story? Not really. 
Not really, but on the first day, God created light and dark, night and day. And then over 2,000 years later, I mean, <laughs> it's a little bit longer than that, er, uh, Cole Porter wrote the song. Night and day under the sun. Such a burning yearning for you can never be stopping. Cats began its memorable run on this date. Yes, cats. He pulled that from the T.S. Eliot poem. Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical debuts in London where it will run for over 8,000 performances over 21 years. The following year it will open in New York where it will be seen where it will win seven Tony Awards and become the longest running Broadway show until 2006 when its record will be broken. Who broke it? Uh, an, I think another Andrew Lloyd Webber musical called Fans from the Opera. Fascinating. Or was it Chicago? Well, the long, list of longest running Broadway shows include Phantom of the Opera is at number one, then Chicago, then Lion King, and Cats is at number four. So enjoy your cat this weekend. Enjoy your dog. Uh, clout is shutting down. Clout, the controversial social reputation service. I had no idea about that. Lithium Technologies, which purchased Clout in 2014 for over $200 million, has announced it's going to shut down the site by May 25th. So there you go, if you didn't know that. And AT&T paid Michael Cohen, Trump's lawyer, to consult the on the Time Warner merger. Uh, 600000 wait? $600,000, yes, that's how much they paid him. Wow. Uh, to advise them on their $85 billion merger. Crazy! The AT&T Time Warner merger. I think we're done. I'm out of breath. And I'm out of energy. And uh, I'm my throat is throbbing. So I hope you had a great day. I hope you had a great time listening to the show. Next show, we'll have some other people stop by. Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. Probably on Monday will be the show, if all goes well. And so, enjoy your weekend. I'm making some tri-tip. Yes, tri-tip comes from a cow. Looking forward to making that. Sorry, cow. You will be honored with every bite, believe me. I have it sitting in marinade for the past two days. It's going to be so good. Oh, what's my marinade? You, you darn tootin' I'm gonna tell you what my marinade is. It's simple. You <laughs> grab, you darn tootin'. Darn tootin'? You grab some wine, red wine. You grab some teriyaki sauce, you grab some soy sauce. And then maybe a little bit of lemon juice. Mix it all together, put the tri-tip in that, let it sit for as long as you can. Well, not too long. You know, around two days is good. So, I'm excited about that. All right, thank you for listening to the show. And have a great weekend. Bon voyage. Uh, fare thee well. And the podcast picture, oops, I forgot, is of Basil the Boxer. A little smile he gave me a couple days back. And you can see that at Mike's Daily Podcast, Dom. Take it away, Ariel. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.